Hey guys, it's uh, me again. Uh, it's been a little while since I made videos, so I uh, decided to come in today and uh, make a video on bench press. Uh, today, the uh, intention is we're going to work up to set of five and ten, so five rep max on the competition bench press. Uh, and what I want to talk about today while, we're, while we go through that is fatigue percents. Um, on some of the other videos you might have heard, heard me uh, mention it, but uh, some people uh, still may not know what exactly fatigue percents are. Uh, just real quick in a nutshell right now, uh, fatigue percents offer us a way to know how much work we should do on any given day because it allows us to automatically adjust the, the volume of our workload depending on, uh, depending on how our body is responding to the work that we do. So, for example, you get the question a lot of times of how many sets should I do? Well, the T percents answer that question because right now, I don't know how many sets of this I'll do. I could guess, but I don't know because I don't have it written down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working until, uh, until a certain set of conditions are met and that will indicate to me that it's time to stop and it's time to move on uh, to the next exercise. So we're about to get started. So this will be the first set. This is 405. Uh, we're going to do set of five at uh, whatever RG this turns out to be. But we're going to work up to the 10. Alright, so that's a pretty good start. Uh, I'm, uh, I rated that one about a seven and a half. Alright, so I already talked about the importance of fatigue percents and what they can do for you in a workout. The fact that they allow you to be able to automatically adjust the volume to whatever is appropriate for you on a given day. And that's critical because it helps you to not do too little work, which is not productive, and not do too much work, which is also not productive. So it keeps you right there in that, uh, in that productive range. It allows you to manage uh, to manage your volume in the most ideal, uh, in the most ideal way. So, a little bit on how to do that. Uh, what I'm doing today is what's known as a load drop. There are several different ways of doing, uh, of using fatigue percents in the training. So, this is one way. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work up to our top set. Uh, for me, today, I as mentioned, that's going to be a set of 5 and a 10 RPE. Now, whatever that is, it could be a triple at a 9, a double at 8, it could be anything. The, you pick that portion of the workout based on the training effect that it produces. So, whatever it is that you need to work on, that's how you decide which uh, protocol that you're going to pick. And so, for me today, that happens to be a set of 5 and a 10. So I'll work up to that weight, and uh, then we will assess uh, assess our fatigue percent. Uh, I'm going to use 5% uh, drop today. Uh, so we're going to work up to whatever we get to, drop the weight by 5%, and continue doing sets of 5 until the effort matches the effort of our top set. So. You'll see, you'll see a good example of it as we go through. So we're going to work up to a set of 5 and a 10, drop the weight by 5%, and then keep hammering out sets of 5 until we get back up to a 10 RP. That could be one set, it could be seven sets. We don't know because we don't know exactly how our body responds to the training today. Uh, what this will allow us to do is manage the level of volume so that we recovered when we want to be recovered. So I know what my next workout is, so that's how I've selected this uh, fatigue percent for a day. So next set here, uh, we're going to go up to 430, and uh, we're going to work this one for a set of five. So 
that one's right about a 9 RP, uh, which is right about where I want that set to be. So uh, we took an appropriate jump up to 455. So this set should be my top set for this workout. Uh, I'm going to do this one for, for five reps. Uh, completing the five reps uh, pretty much uh, split by the PR for a day. So that's what's next up on the plate. on that one, so I'm pretty happy about that, uh, you know, new five rep max, that's uh, a little PR, it's always a good thing, it doesn't matter, you know, big or small, even a little PR, it's not to make you happy, so. Now uh, we assess our fatigue percent, so I said at the beginning we we're going to do 5% fatigue today, uh, so with that I take 5% of the weight on the bar, uh, excuse me, 5% of the weight off the bar. So we had 455, so we dropped 5%. 5% 5 of 455 is 22, 23 pounds. So we just kind of rounded it off because I don't have uh, fractional plates. And it's not that it's going to matter that much anyway. Uh, you know, a pound here, a pound there, it probably won't make that much of a difference so, uh, since most people use the subjective RPEs anyway. So we just went ahead and dropped it back down to 430. Uh, and that, uh, that's our 5% drop. So, since we're doing a rep drop, uh, not a rep drop, I probably said rep drop earlier as well. We're doing a load drop today to drop the load. Uh, so, since we're doing a load drop today, uh, we're going to continue to do sets with 430, sets of 5, until the effort is the same effort that the 455 set was. So uh, you'll see what I mean as, as we go through this. So uh, 430, first drop set. with my rest periods, 
I try. I do try to keep them roughly the same, plus or minus a minute. So for a particularly hard set, you might uh, have a little bit longer rest, and for uh, you know, the set's going to be a little bit easier to speed it up a little bit. I know in the RTS manual, uh, I go through uh, some general time brackets that you should that you should use to, uh, and that helps you to regulate the overall stress and uh, keep your rest intervals in check so you're not resting all day and doing more volume than you should be doing. But that said, I mean, if, as, uh, if, you're, if you're doing this in order to lift more weight like most of us are, um, you don't want metabolic fatigue to mask you know, overall system fatigue. So, that's why I try to stay flexible with my with my rest periods. So if I'm going to have a particularly tough set, I can take, I mean, not a lot longer. It usually doesn't take uh, a whole lot longer between sets. Um, what that little bit extra does is it helps clear out a little bit more metabolic byproducts so you can get a more accurate assessment of your total system fatigue rather than uh, having it masked by some uh, metabolic byproduct. So here's 4.30 again, so for another 7.5. I know myself and I know that that last rep was it. There uh, wasn't another one in the tank. So we're going to call that last set a 10 RPE. I know uh, on the film it probably looked fast. It taped pretty fast. So, uh, but like I said, I know on that push, when I pushed on it, I know that there wouldn't have been another one. Um, so that's it. That's my fatigue and that's where we cut it. So. Uh, like I've been saying, uh, fatigue percents are really powerful. Uh, even though I did a lot of volume today, I can still be confident that I'm going to be recovered by the next bench session. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's really valuable uh, from a training standpoint to be able to control your recovery to that degree. Um, fatigue percents might take a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, but it's a lot less fine-tuning than uh, finding appropriate volumes that fluctuate and change day to day based on your stress levels in life. Uh, there's a lot more information out there on fatigue percents. Uh, I talk about them at length in my book, uh, The Reactive Training Manual, and again on my seminar DVD, uh, the Progressive Powerlifting Seminar DVD. Both of them are on my website. Uh, just look in the store. They're really easy to find uh, and they're really helpful to training. Uh, I know that they've made a big difference in training for myself and uh, for my athletes as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them up on the forum. Uh, that the, the forum and the store and training logs and my training logs and a whole bunch of other information is all on the website. The website's reactivetrainingsystems.com. Thanks for watching.